because my dad started running the dishwasher before I had a chance to grab a spoon out of it and wash it. Ah, to use so, for cereal. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, now we are recording finally. So, since everything is, hey. uh, <laughs> this is going to be the opening for the uh, podcast on YouTube. So everybody can uh, say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Good morning. YouTube. YouTube. Um. Anybody in the chat yet? Nope, nobody in the chat yet. Um. So, for those of us join, or those of you joining us, today I am accompanied by. Well, here. How's the best way to phrase this? We have the cat wrangler, the cat strangler, and the cat herself. So I will let everybody put two and two together on who they think is which one. Just well, nobody's like... wrangling or strangling me, first of all, so the cat is not me. And if it is, well, I, I, I'm saying well, that by logic, <laughs> none of us is the cat. <laughs> I say that. <laughs> I say that in the way that we're all cats. One of us is the wrangler, one of us is the strangler, and then one of us is a cat. So, um, yeah. Okay. That went, that was supposed to go better than that, damn it. <laughs> Sorry. I feel like I'm just the plain cat, so we'll build from there i guess man are you saying that sam is crazy and that she's gonna strangle you and me i feel like out of the three of us she is the one most likely to murder the other two <laughs> <laughs> am yeah. i wrong sam it's a fair assumption <laughs> <laughs> well i mean especially after that intro right so Matt, I have um I have a story for you. Story for the stream. Yeah. Um So at work today, I was stocking some Herdez salsa. Yeah. And I found a cigarette butt. In the salsa, like in the in the case. <laughs> so, this is a week after I made the joke to my store manager that I was going to start setting some stuff on in the store on fire because the fire alarm was off, which was also, I think, maybe a week after. Um, a certain competitor chain to ours, one of their stores burnt down. Or oh, I didn't fire. know about that. Yeah, no. the They had a fire, and it damaged the store, and the store had to close. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. With that, I, um, I should move that over to the news page, and we'll, we'll continue. What about you guys? Anything fun happened lately? Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm listening. I mean, you know, because I sent it to you, but Sam doesn't know yet, so I figured I can retell and tell at the same time. Yeah. So, let's set the stage a little bit. Picture it thus. You are at work at 5.30 in the morning. You've been at work for half an hour already, and things are going about as they always do. It's Things are happening, but it's, it's just another kind of boring day at work. You're going along, doing your thing. You look a little bit farther in front of you, and something is different. You know what it is. But you just can't fathom why it is there and what is happening. So you do a double take. 
then you confirm that you are staring at what you indeed are staring at. You take a box of... a noodly dinner with dairy powder. And you... Because you're pretty sure it's not alive, but you also don't want to touch it if it is. And it's not alive. It's just a facsimile. And then you just start laughing, because what the hell is going on? Because you're walking down the aisle of a grocery store, and on a shelf is sitting a duck. <laughs> a normal, I say life-size, and it doesn't sound that impressive, because the ducks are small, but a life-size, like, rubber plastic replica of a duck is just sitting on a shelf, staring at me at 5.30 in the morning. Now, I do not know when this duck got there, because I assume it was before the store had closed, which means it had been sitting there for at least seven hours. Right. Oh my gosh. And it turns out it wasn't as out of place as I thought, because I, it, I, I didn't think that said chain sold such a thing. Um, and for purchasing purposes, it is not available. It was part of a display for um, decoy wine that somebody had decided to let roam the store. Oh, wow. <laughs> if you... If you... When they're done with that display, I need you to take that duck, okay? We need <laughs> so you can run duck. around, run it around your store, making pigeon no. noises. <laughs> no. Although that is something I would do. Um, yes. And there's a small follow-up <laughs> to this initial story. We need it for an RC car. Oh. <gasps> Oh, because ducks are special with the other plastic thing we were talking about. Yes. Okay, I'm fully on board. <laughs> um, but yeah, so then, so that happens. Um, I also took like a little video of me just like panning along a shelf to be like, the duck! But I didn't <laughs> say that. Um, and I was showing it to people because it was hilarious. And like, why is there a duck here? Um, and I showed it to the dairy manager because he was there and then later he finds me because in a carton of eggs there are 12 well, there are 12 because it's a 12 pack um there were 11 eggs that were normal egg size for that <laughs> size demographic and the 12th egg was solidly half again larger than the other ones <laughs> just one egg but it, the normal eggs are like I, this isn't going to be the right proportions. But if the normal egg is an inch tall, so long, whatever, egg. this other egg was at least an inch and three quarters, if not two inches. <laughs> so he thought it was the duck. And I honestly have no reason to disagree with him, because what the hell is happening? There should be quality control stopping that. <laughs> Ducks are shifty, man. Well, they're, they're, gonna... they're um, <clears throat> reproductive, certainly are. Don't they have, like, corkscrew stuff? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think people have made wine openers in the, with a, um, not, not with the, um, the corkscrew part, that, just, like, a duck on the end of the wine opener, or the corkscrew thing. And then it's just kind of funny, because you're simulating not what you want to be. Well, I mean, if anything, I would want to, like, have a duck, like a good-sized duck, and we need to get with Mike about this, okay? Because we need to make... Oh, for 3D? Oh, no. No, Mike. 3D print a wine opener with a duck on it wearing the tiny car guy's helmet. Oh. Okay, see, so, yeah, that's not where I thought you were going with that. <laughs> Actually kind of cute. Like... <laughs> Yeah, I was just concerned because I what I was expecting would probably be marketable to the general public. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that it's going to be appropriate. I'm just saying we got to do it. 
Hell yeah. How about you, Sam? Or are you done, Matt? Oh, no, I'm done. It was just, I forgot the second part to the story. Because I don't, I didn't have that on film. Gotcha. And no. I remembered it after the fact. Nothing interesting really happens to me at all, so. Oh, well. <laughs> that well, this podcast that. is interesting. Yeah. Yeah. We've already had, um, we've already had our technical difficulties for the day, so. All I did this last time. It's all in the positive direction from here. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to go upward from somewhere. It may, the, Something like that. The place we're going upward may be upside down, though, so you never know. <laughs> all right, well. If we're all re- done sharing our uh, daily stories, which, by the way, I had one, a shelf story, because I didn't remember you telling me about the duck thing. I thought that you were talking about a dead mouse at first when you started telling it. <laughs> because a dead, I com- did you I completely... find a dead mouse? Say what? Did you find a dead mouse? Not a dead one. Oh, um, live one, even better. So this was back... <laughs> even better. <laughs> this, is, good. <laughs> this is when I was on overnights. A certain gentleman who um, will not be named because he was very antagonistic towards me a couple years back. Matthew was good friends with him. Um, so this gentleman and I were on overnights together. And we had a floor Jeez. deck there with us. So they both end up walking into the aisle that I'm working backstock in for some stupid reason. Well, while I'm working the backstock, I lift up a case and I look into a case of pickles. You know how they have like the tray at the bottom and then they're the plastic wrap on them in some cases. But I'm t- <laughs> in some cases, I know what you're talking about, but in yes. other cases, I don't. <laughs> so, <laughs> I see movement in the case. And it turns out there's a mouse in there. So, the mouse, like, notices that the case that was on top of the case he was in has been moved. So, he he freaks out. Poops everywhere and tries to get out. So the floor tech is, for some reason, just standing next to me with a broom. And here I am. Everybody's looking at the case with the mouse in it. They're all like, well, I guess we should do something about this mouse. We should kill it or something. The mouse, at that moment, decides that he's going to get out of the case and run towards the front of the store. So, me being the quick thinker that I am, Snatch the broom that's in the hands of the floor tech just standing there agape. And I run after the mouse, trying to catch said mouse so that we can release it outside. Which, I know, you don't ever want to do that because they'll just get right back in, blah blah blah, I don't care. I wanted to release the mouse. I wanted the mouse out. I wanted the mouse to be safe. I did not want the mouse to die. Um, sure enough, I catch the mouse with the broom handle, or with the broom. And I'm trying to hold the mouse down. Here I am, like, bouncing the mouse around, playing hockey with a mouse. <laughs> and I think that what you-know-who says something about like he's he doesn't just like say something he starts recording me trying to catch the mouse and sends it to the store manager at the time so here i am horsing around on video with uh, playing with a mouse the floor tech's just standing there like what do i do what do i do oh my gosh what do i do and i don't know the mouse somehow gets away which sucks because, you know, I wanted the mouse to get away and be happy. I wanted that mouse to to live. 
They called an exterminator. So anyway, enough. Well, that was... <laughs> <laughs> enough well, dark, horrible that... stories about us playing with dead things. Dead. Well, I'm sure the mouse is dead now. It was in a grocery store. Play. This was like four years ago. Mice don't live that long. See, I'm not. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna lie. When you said overnights, I got all excited because I thought you were gonna mention the death sausage. Oh! <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. What is that? <laughs> I'll let you tell this one, Matt. You wanna take this one, Mike? I will let you take the floor. Uh, uh, okay, you, know, you at least set it up because I wasn't there for the initial part. I came in for the, for the discovery. So, working in a grocery store, sometimes you'll find that there are certain areas of the store that start to smell bad if they don't have attention. Um, we were in the juice aisle, or I was in the juice aisle one day, trying to figure out what the hell smelled like, you know, terrible death in the aisle. So... I think Matt's got a big nose. He can help. So, I I go and I get Matt, and I'll let Matt tell the rest. I should first start off by saying, yes, I have an above-average-sized nose. That's However... Thing, Boom! Oh, okay. well, I mean, my ego is very tiny. You are not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but from a smelling perspective, my nose is no better or worse than an average sized nose. So he, uh, bringing me over for that purpose served no purpose. Right. But anyway, so Mike is looking. I am looking. Uh, there was another guy there with us. He, I think, was bored and walked away and started doing something else. And then Mike finds the source of this weird smell that should not be anywhere, should not be there in the store. And the source of the smell was a um, formerly refrigerated Jimmy Dean sausage log (laughs) that had been um, perused and deposited not back in the refrigeration just on the shelf hidden behind some either tomato juice or apple juice and had been allowed to warm and come to room temperature and as things do when they get warm they expand and curl of sausage had burst through the wrapper in the shape of a gnarled, curled finger. <laughs> which is the what tail. was producing the smell. <laughs> no, that's gross. So, we find it. Um, we bring it um, to the back room of where it should be going. Right. And then I'm curious because, you know, like, I could smell a, a light funk while in the aisle. But I couldn't actually, like, really, really tell what it was. So I was like, okay, we've got it. We know what it is. I'm going to smell it. Like, put my nose right up to it and just take a whiff. (laughs) And I'm pretty sure Mike still has... I know he had. I don't know if he still has the recording of me doing that. I do have the recording. If I were, um... If I had my phone cable in here, I would literally grab it tell you what we'll have to do we'll have to set that aside as in we'll have to like go through and double check that there's nothing that um basically like notifies people where we live and yeah then, well i mean i guess there's our company in other areas but well, i mean i was just gonna say like you could just play the audio okay yeah here i'll play the audio. if nothing else um yeah it smelled um it smelled kind of bad uh yeah i would assume so oh it did not smell good. but 
the kicker was that after I smelled it the first time, you know, I stepped back. I was like, all right, oh. that smells pretty strong. <laughs> but I don't believe it. I need to take a second <laughs> whiff to make sure. Just to make sure. And I did. And it smelled just the same as the first time. <laughs> and I should not have done that. Maybe even but worse. But I did it anyway. <laughs> and that is the death sausage. The death <laughs> in all sausage. of its glory. So well, I just don't understand why you would go back in. <laughs> it was so incredulous am... that that could have been the smell. And you were just like, nope, I gotta... Do this again. <laughs> See, Mike and other friends of mine who've been around me for a while will tell you, I am not always a smart person when it comes to my decision-making processes. <laughs> yeah. not, none of us are. It's okay. None of us are. That's why. We're yeah, but I'm especially bad. Podcast. <laughs> well, you got me there. That's why our YouTube channel is um centered around toy expensive toys that can kill people or hurt people i mean dildos could too <laughs> <laughs> that's the uh that's the pornhub video not the youtube video oh we're not talking about that yet i'm sorry yeah we're uh we need to start go oh, we need to go out and start recording <laughs> um for Pornhub? No, no, for YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be uh, recording anything for Pornhub anytime soon. Oh my god. <laughs> <Throw not. laughs> um, like, as we're going to in the future? I think not. <laughs> well, I'm not talking about, like, us personally. I'm talking about, like, you know, maybe stuff that we can't put on YouTube. We just if it's got too many cuss words or f certain things that are representative of other things made of plastic or rubber or silicone, whatever they're made of. I don't know. Finger ducks? <laughs> the ET finger line. Ducks? The ET finger line, yes. Get on up. <laughs> the ET finger light. Yes, the ET finger light. That's what we're talking about here. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So are oh you guys gosh. ready for some uh, some news? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's dive on into it. Let's get right into it on that. Go note. news. Hey now. <laughs> Don't put a D on that. Um so Max Amps this week has put out a new graphene lipo. Uh, it is looks like they are four hundred and or four thousand three hundred and fifty milliamp hour, which is basically going to be your runtime. It's a two S lipo, which means that it's two cell, uh, seven point four volt. And if you can take a look at this guy, it's got a shorty pack, or it is a shorty pack. Is graphene, so it's going to be higher power energy density. Uh, low internal resistance, a high discharge rate, a long life cycle, and better battery charge retention. So basically, when you if you decide that you're gonna, you know, forget to recharge your batteries after you run, it's gonna make it so that your batteries don't go, uh, deteriorate to zero or to dangerous levels, and keep your battery alive longer. Yay! Um, yeah, I believe that it comes with any connector that you want, but it's pictured here with an XT60 and a JST, um, XH for LiPo balancing. Any questions? Questions for me. Wait, 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 wait. I'm listening. On that plug drop down, does it say ultra female? <laughs> Dean's ultra female, yeah. Uh, Dean's ultra plugs are are a battery type. 
or a connector type. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure. We use tracks as batteries, so. Um, well, technically, we use Electron Pro, but mostly true. Uh, you have a Traxxas battery, I know. Exceed RC has put out a new tool stand in aluminum. Don't know why you'd need an aluminum tool stand, but it could be useful for all your nice little hex drivers and wrenches and your body reamer and body scissors. It's uh, $32. It's black anodized, high quality aluminum, multiple ports and part tray, which I guess that's the part tray down there. Um, silver chamfered edges and a la laser graved Exceed RC logo. Laser engraved. Blech. Which on the on one picture it looks like that's a sticker. That's two different things. You see what I'm saying here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That one's got the sticker. That one's got the two laser engravings. Okay. Um. There was a few things that I wanted to look at that were from Tamaya, Japan, some RC stuff, but their website is so um, obnoxious to try to navigate, so I just decided that I was going to look at their uh, new releases page and kind of show some things off there. You can kind of look, um, let's get to the interesting stuff. This uh, Mercedes-Benz Aerox 114th scale RC truck. If, I don't know, but, yeah, that doesn't bring up anything cool. Depicts the Aerox dump truck from the world's leading truck manufacturer, Daimler AG. There's plenty to catch the imagination with. Is it um, superbly realistic chassis that will provide an engrossing build and drive. Features realistic bed with metal frame, which can be moved by the separately sold actuator system. That's probably the coolest part of this truck, aside from the body there. Um, that body looks pretty sick. Pretty cool looking. Um... The one that actually looks the best to me, honestly, is this guy. The Land Feet Freeder Quad Track. It's a TTO2 FT chassis. This model uses a new variant of the TTO2 chassis with three-sided track units instead of the wheels. The result is awesome traction, even on rough terrain. CR-tuned motor include, is included as the kit standard motor. It's got a molded body. Um, you can kind of see the chassis under there, not well, but requires assembly, tracks require assembly from links and offer efficient traction. Two types of links, standard and gauss are included, or grueser. Each track unit pivots on a point at the top of its roller arm. That kind of reminds me of, um... it'll load. We'll wait for that to load. Um, 110 scale 2020 Ford GT Mach 2 on the TTO2 chassis. It's a pretty cool looking body there. I kind of like the look of the Traxxas version better though. Not gonna lie. Um, I'll pull that up too as soon as the Traxxas page loads. Gang Beast Spencer? The game I was talking about was Gang Beasts. Okay. Um, never never played it, never even heard it. Well, I've heard it. I think I've heard of it. Um, 
Matt, are you on? Uh, are you in, signed into Streamlabs? Uh, no, I was thinking about it. I'm, I'm opening it. Right on. 1998 Ford Escort Custom. It's on the TTO2 chassis. You can kind of see the chassis there. With customizations such as blister fenders, front spoiler, and rear wing, the powerful form is captured by a polycarbonate body. So it's basically just a new variant of the, the uh, TTO2 with a licensed Ford body. This guy, though, Mercedes-Benz Unimog Series U900 CCO2. So that's the CCO2. It's like a crawler chassis. Um, the battery is in the rear on this guy. You can kind of see the simplicity of the whole setup there. Um, it's pretty cool. It's got a little transmission in there and waterproof receiver box. These all, I think, come as kits. So, does not have portal axles, so I don't know if it's really going to be how the center of gravity is going to be on it, but um, there you go. Comical hotshot. <laughs> um, this guy, you can see it's kind of made of a funny chassis. Look at the, uh, I mean, that's a lot of plastic on that chassis, too. ABS two-part wheels. Um, you can put lights on it. Bodies pre-painted in PS2 red. Stickers based on the 2007 reissue Hotshot are also included. Uh, here comes another release of the popular series of comical buggy models. The original Hotshot was our first shaft-driven four-wheel drive buggy back in 1985. Now it's reimagined re as the comical Hotshot. On the four-wheel drive GF01CB chassis, which gives stable four-wheel drive. 10-scale um, plasma edge. Two, iridescent purple green it's a TTO 2B so basically it's a TTO 2 with longer um, longer arms um, the grasshopper black edition I'd like the look of that fighter buggy um, pretty cool looking German fighter cup series I think I had one of these when I was a kid. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you kind of <laughs> see some of the cool looking stuff on here. Little, I don't know, like moon buggies or something. <laughs> yeah, dude, they're pretty. A lot of these things are really cool. And they're not that expensive if you are, if you already have specific like let's say you've already got a vehicle or like a RC car you could put a right. receiver in one of these and pick up one of these guys and a lot of them come with motors and ESCs um, looks like we're at the end of our rope there Enduro Sendero HD ready to run it comes ready for adventure out of the box Conventional three gear transmission. Um, there's an action shot of it. Reedy new HD features. Reedy Power SC forty eight hundred or four eighty X speed controller. High torque Metal Gear servo servo steel servo horn. New box diorama. Um. Updated plastics. We're going to move on. 1967 Dodge Dart Clear Body. I know that's not clear, but that's kind of the painted product. Looks pretty cool. 
not super detailed, but it's okay. Um, we'll see what it kind of looks like. VTA class. What would be considered VT? I don't know. Maybe something like... Huh. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. KS steel front bumper for the SCX-10-3 Jeep JLU Wrangler. Kind of gives you a look at it. Bumper plate. Gives you some, maybe some light cups. That's what the finished product will look like. Pretty cool looking. Um, Rudog or Rudd Dog RP 691 2600 KV 8th scale censored competition brushless motor it's pretty cool see the fan on the back of it you see this is for stuff bigger than what we drive or what you drive Matt this would be <laughs> something about the size of that uh the max that i drive yeah um world's fastest rc aircraft hits a stunning 548 miles per hour without a motor no props no jets no rockets spencer lisby just broke the world speed record for remote controlled aircraft Taking an unpowered RC glider transonic at 548 miles per hour. For anybody listening overseas, that's 882 kilometers per hour. You see nothing uh, but wind. Oh, can you, can you please not do that accent again? <laughs> no, that was horrible. <laughs> no offense, but that what was, was god awful. It got it got the point across. Uh, what point that Americans are. Dicks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. Yes. One hundred percent. Like I don't um, want to compare you to a Cheeto, but I feel like Trump could have done a better British accent than that was. <laughs> have you heard his British accent? I, does it sound like an Aussie having a stroke? I I don't know. It sounds like a Aussie guy who went into Auschwitz and farted in a gas chamber hey, and locked hey, it up. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 no. <laughs> oh. Why did I have to say an Australian guy having a stroke? I could have picked <laughs> any place and I had to pick Australian. Well, it's because of the thing I sent you earlier. You had Australia on the brain. Well, yeah, but also I was talking to someone with an Australian accent I think at work yesterday. That's weird. We're in the United States somewhere or are we <laughs> they're not supposed to know we're in Mexico um, Papa John's now has stuffed crust this is Eric's news by the way stuffed crust am I the well, only it, person who didn't I mean, know about this I did not know that Papa John's had that no Am I the only person who's excited about this? I mean, I feel like they're a little late to the party, but... <laughs> they, yeah, they kind of are. And, and do anything I mean, I'm down to pizza. try it, but... Like, Pizza Hut had that, like, 15 years ago. You know what I had 15 years ago? Happiness, and oh, a this? little bit of joy to be with. <laughs> Didn't we all? Right? Um. Damn. <laughs> Way to bring it down. Sorry. Sorry. So, so a couple events for February 2021 in Pokemon Go. <clears throat> We've got February Research Breakthrough Encounter, which is going to be Snorlax, I'll tell you that now. Uh, five Star Raids and Mega Raids, Raikou, Entei, and Suicune, Latias and Latios. Looks like February 20th at 9 a.m. to Monday, March 1st at 8 a.m. Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, and Mewtwo are coming back. Uh, 
um, the following Mega Evolved Pokemon will be appearing in Mega Raids, Venusaur, Ampharos, and Houndoom. Uh, Mega Pidgeot, Ampharos, and a surprise! A surprise? Pokemon will be Tuesday, February 9th to Saturday, February 20th. Mega Venusaur, Mega Charizard X, Mega Charizard Y. What's the difference? Why do they look different? Stop it, Pokemon. X. You're making is... things complicated. It's not that complicated. X is Fire Dragon, Y is Fire Flying. Oh. Even though Y kind of looks more like a dragon. Right. X looks like something from um, The Lord of the Rings. Y looks like something from Harry Potter. Yeah. Um, and you know what letter is featured in Harry Potter? Oh, Y. Um, as in why bother? Uh, Tuesday, <laughs> Pokemon Spotlight Hours Tuesday, February 2nd will be Ekans Miltank will be February 9th February 16th will be Love Disc and February 23rd will be Pikachu Team Go Rocket is back and celebrating that's weird February Community Day is going to be Roselia and there's a Lunar New Year event for Year of the Ox. Encounter red-colored Pokemon. Why wouldn't that just be Valentine's event? Like, okay, whatever. Um, Kanto Tour is this month as well. The It takes place on February 20th, so set your calendars, people. Yes, I know what I just said. Quality of life updates, too. So, I'm not going to read all that. Moving on. <clears throat> so, I, I should close that. And Traxxas.com is down. Okay, oh well. The Marvel Universe without Avengers. Imagine a world where Tony Stark never built an Iron Man, Thor is an atheist who despises hammers, and Wakanda is dismissed as a myth, which I thought it was anyway. And where Captain America was never found in the ice because there were no Avengers mm. to find him. This actually looks kind of interesting to me. <clears throat> Although... It looks like DC just showed up in Marvel. Yeah. Um, so basically what it is is it's just a different set of Avengers. Um, they're not called the Avengers, though. So they fight people like the Black Skull, Dr. Jugger Dr. Juggernaut. Huh. I guess that's if Dr. Doom mixed with the Juggernaut, maybe. From the look of it. Gossip Girl. Yeah, I don't know. Definitely not part of the Avengers. <laughs> that you know of. Thanos with his mm, infinity rings, though. If Blake Lively becomes a Avenger, I'm done. <laughs> Dude. I, uh... I'd be down. She can be the next Black Widow. Uh, she's not hot enough to be the next Black Widow. I don't know. I'd, I'd enjoy watching her on screen. <laughs> and that seems to be our news for the day. Nice. Any, uh... Pretty solid news. Yep. Do you have a game for us, Sam? Yeah, we got name that monster thing today. I'm gonna stop sharing on Discord and wait for you to start sharing. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um. Sam is TV. live. Watch stream. And uh oh, the stream lags. Uh -oh. Let's move this over here. And yeah. 
switch screens. There we go. We're on a new scene. Name that monster thing. Yeah. So, some of these are Pokemon. Some of these are Pokemon ripoffs or parodies. <clears throat> so, you just guess what if it's a real Pokemon or not. And I'll tell you if it is or not, and what the name is, and where it's from. Oh. <clears throat> Here's our first one. So if you guys can guess the name of it, or if it's an actual Pokemon or not. This this monkey thing? Yeah, this monkey thing. <laughs> I, I can tell you it's not a Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a Digimon to me. A Digimon? No, it, no, that's, <laughs> no that's either fake or a ripoff, and I... I don't know what to call it. Um, Gunman? Gunuman? That's a Digimon name, dude. <laughs> no, like Gun Monkey. Gunman. <laughs> yeah. Um, no. But, no. <laughs> <laughs> it is. His name is, um, Gunrilla. Gunrilla. Kind of close. <laughs> <laughs> and, um,. So, this is one of the parody ones. It's, um, South Park did a Pokemon episode. Ah. And this was one of them. Chin Pokemon? Chin Pokemon, yeah. That was their little thing there. Alright, so, you both are right on that one. It's not a real Pokemon. Here's the next one. Isn't that some, like... Yu-Gi-Oh! Elemental Hero bullshit. I don't know <laughs> what that is. It's not Yu-Gi-Oh! Ah, damn. Well, I know it's not Pokemon. Oh, hold on. It's definitely... Right. Hold on. Something's wrong with Discord. Or not Discord. Um. Which? Hold on. We're not, uh... We're having issues here, basically. It's sharing the Discord chat, not the thing that we're not doing. Not the stream? Yes. So there we go. Now it's working. Glad I looked at that. Alright. So, can you guess what show it might be from? Uh, that is from Yu-Gi-Oh. Wrong. So I don't know if you guys remember the show um, Bakugan. Bakugan? I don't remember I've how to heard of it. it. Yeah, I've heard of it too. Uh, but... I never watched it. Right. <laughs> I think I saw some of those at Walmart the other night. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Okay, so here's the next one. That's a Digimon. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all would be right. I don't know what it, what what it's called, but that is definitely a Digimon. Uh, uh, the Roostermon. Hawken. Roostermon. Oh. Akatorimon? Yeah. Well, that just sounds made up. I thought his name should be like Roostermon or Chickenmon or something. <laughs> He's the winner, Mon. I wonder what... Nakatori probably means something in, I guess, Japanese. I'll look it up, I'm curious. And can't navigate to Google Chrome. Alright, here's the next one. Nakatori is a video game. Well, shut your face. And an anime girl, apparently. What, Nakatori? It's, like it's like an anime frog. This is from Sailor Moon. No. <laughs> it's not uh, th I would Moon. believe that. <laughs> <laughs> this You cannot tell me that this is not from Sailor Moon. It is not from Sailor Moon. I 100% Moon. think that you're you're messing with me now. I'm not messing with you. <laughs> okay. So here's the name of it. <clears throat> Elfin. That doesn't come And it's from Elfin. that damn Bakugan show again. Yikes. Yeah. 
They just had a, a lot of funky ones. That's a Pokemon. No, that's Apple a Digimon. Appleon. Oh. I have the new, new, new ones. I think it's an uh, The name wrong. Oh. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't play. I haven't played Sword and Shield. And I probably won't. His name's Flapple. Flapple? <laughs> I was thinking it would be something more lizard-like. <laughs> and he's a Pokemon. That's a Scooby-Doo monster. No, that's a Pokemon. I think that's, that's a right. grass starter from Sword and Shield. I don't well, know what it's called. I don't think so. Because that's more colorful. Right, it's not playing the bongos. Yeah. Flapple. So this is Zarude. And he's a Pokemon. That was right. He is definitely a Pokemon and not a Scooby-Doo monster. Although he kind of does look like a Scooby-Doo monster. Kinda. That's like new Scooby-Doo era If it wasn't for those meddling kids and your stupid dog. That's a a black Magikarp. Why is this this racist now? No, it's not. Hey, you made it. Um, the, the, this is this has to be a knockoff. Yeah, it's, it's like a going to work, like I'm going to the mines or something. <laughs> this is a count. Of count of oh, it's my ancestors. <laughs> I hate it. Chin Pokemon. That is a count of fish. That that's that's a Digimon. Um. Um, that's one of the... Oh my gosh, I recognize it. I can't remember what it's called, though. One of the legendary? It, no, it's, I know. I don't know anything about this. It's so. like the... Okay, so I remember in the cartoon, there was that kid, the little tiny kid who had the big uh, bear turtle thing with the skull for a face. This is like the evolved, evolved, evolved form of that thing. Somehow looks like a tiger. I mean, I'm taking your word for it. So Mike is right. It's a Digimon. Woo! By human. I feel like they're that that name they're trying to say like by human. That's a Digimon. Nope. Oh, Shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's one of those weird ones again, like the anime girl. Oh, Bakugan. These are more like monster people. Yeah. Bar. Excuse me. That's that, a Pokemon. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, Aria that's Pokemon. Dose. Get out of here. <laughs> Gen 2 doesn't mean shit. If it makes you feel any better, I don't even remember what that one was called. <laughs> I, I, I told <laughs> Spinner- you. Aria Matt Dose. had it. Spinarax evolve form or something. It, yeah. Agumon, Digimon, boom. Phrasing. <laughs> oh, that's the one I was talking about. Yeah, that's <laughs> the one that used to look like the orange soda dial. That's the only one I remember. <laughs> the only one I remember because that um uh, that one turned into the one with the the other one with the skull on its head, the lizard with the skull on its head, called like Greymon or something. That is an anime weird thing. If I've ever seen one. Say what? <laughs> this is... This... Not a knockoff if I've ever seen one. This is actually a Digimon. <laughs> <laughs> and his name? Can you guess his name? <clears throat> Batterymon? Chargermon. You got it. Oh, no, God. Batterymon. <laughs> Just that was the I one I said looked really sad. That's a Digimon. What? <laughs> it looks. It looks like, like they lost creativity Iron there. Man. Pokemon, Pokemon. Uh, 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 um, 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 um. Oh, is that the Cosmos thing? Cosmos, whatever. The Gurga, Gurga, Bender, 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 Gur
the fuck? Galarian? Galarian. Uh, what's it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Yamas. Yes, the his Rodriguez. I'm telling you, that's Rodriguez. It's what I've been saying, well, but I... rephrasing it so it doesn't sound like it's I... Rodriguez. I, I don't, don't know what the thing is French. called. French Rodriguez. Okay, so this one, this last one, isn't a Pokemon, but it is one of those chim Pokemons again. I Wait, just thought it was funny. Us? Well, I'm telling you this because it's going to be obvious that it's obviously not a Pokemon when I click to the next slide. You don't say that. Oh, okay. I'm just letting you know this is my favorite one. <laughs> don't say that that's going to be obvious because they have come up with some very, very awkward Pokemon. If you don't think Shu is a Pokemon... <laughs> Listen, it's a ditto. Okay. It's clearly a ditto. It is a ditto. It's <laughs> clearly a ditto. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Clearly. Oh Listen, my gosh. The moment that they po <laughs> Pokemon jumped the shark a few years back, okay? Because there are two things that are Pokemon that probably shouldn't be Pokemon. There are a, there's a chandelier Pokemon. There's a key and key ring Pokemon. I'm pretty sure at this point there's a chair Pokemon that likes when you sit on it. Oh geez. There's a garbage bag Pokemon. Oh no. And I'm I'm sure that I'm missing something, but that Pokemon and, jumped the shark. Well uh, let's not forget the very first generation. There are three magnets held together by magnetism. That is a come on. Dude, I have um Matt, if we hang out Friday, I have something that I need you to see. Right, the first gen has all kinds so of weird Pokemon. Scared. Well, you brought up magnets, so... Like, one of them is three mounds of dirt oh, God. popping up out the ground. Well, that's actually like a mole or something. But yes, it doesn't have an underside. Oh, uh, the Diglett. Diglett dig, Diglett dig, trio, trio, trio. Oh, okay. Right. So, on that <laughs> note, I think we have something else to do. I don't know what. But we're right, just I'm. Segue that's right that's away it from for, that. That's it for the <laughs> for the game. So, um, um, yeah. Uh, what do you guys yeah. want to play tonight? Do you want to play some Human Fall Flat, some um, Zelda, Ocarina of Time? Boy, shut up. <laughs> the, the Ocarina of Time. All right, from Boston. Shut up. <laughs> or we could be British with a real great accent all the way around. Mine that was horrible. I'm really embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, you should be. Mine may have been um, super not real. Embarrassed, not as embarrassed as Mike should be over his. Yours was better than his. My, hey, <laughs> mine was just super racist. I mean, prejudiced. I was going to say, I don't think British people are a race of people. Well, I mean, it went from British to German at one point. And that wasn't a race of people. That was to erase people. That's a little <laughs> different. All right. One in the chat for human fall flat. Anybody else? I guess vote? we're going majority rules. <laughs> I like human fall flat. <laughs> okay. We'll play us some human fall flats. And I'm uh, never changing my avatar again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> gingerbread man for life. Gingerbread bitch. Ride or die. Get it right. Bake or die. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is a show that doesn't work. Okay, I'm not saying bake and die. Well, that's good. I gotta open Steam so you can invite me to play. That'd probably be helpful, right? But do you have to do the invite again, or can you just click into play? I might be able to just click into play. We'll see. We're gonna start it, and I'll just see if I can get in oh, there. <laughs> Good luck. I got this nice new little tool that I'm gonna start using on the next podcast. Um, 
There's a reason why this podcast episode is called The Musical. And it was because of the opening. Because, you know, cat the cat-themed uh, introduction and the um, fact that we started out with music for the first time ever. Which, I don't know how the chat felt about that song, but I think we're pro- probably going to do a different one every episode for now until we find one that everybody likes. Um, connection succeeded. All right. Connection succeeded. <clears throat> Sorry, my uh, my controller was having issues. Uh, what level do you guys want to play? Anything I'm not really picky. Particular? We will do... Beep, beep. Uh, beep. 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 Return to game. Um, how about... Subscribe levels? I don't know what subscribe level everybody in the chat needs to hit. Oh, yeah. Subscribe to our Twitch channel. Hey. Uh, that was dumb. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why don't you all just go over to our YouTube channel and like and subscribe? Uh, what do you mean, Cheerio? What do we all like? What? Oh, this is ominous. All right. The music? Oh, the big dark castle. And the it's all dark with clouds. It's weird. Oh that is. No. Oh here. Oops. And this bridge is crazy. Bouncy, okay. bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Wee. I will join. I will actually start playing in a sec. Uh, uh. Well, that didn't end well. All right. Well, I. I wouldn't say so. Wait, who's? You have to get it so it's like all the way. Wait, around, we have a fourth right? person. Why do we have another person? Oh my gosh, moldy fireflies! Moldy fireflies? Ah! Pepsi no! Pepsico. I got it. Confused. No. Shit. No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> ah. That's not my intent. <laughs> so that. So let me. Uh. I didn't mean to grab you, Matt. No, <laughs> you should just ask permission first. I had a horrible joke the other day. I think I told it to you, Matt. I'm pretty sure I told it to you. Um, you may have done, but I do not remember. May oh. as well just tell it again. Well, no, I oh. can't say it on the stream. Oh, I'm uh. not then. Oh no! Kim, I just fell into you and fell off again. <laughs> wait for it, wait for it. Oh man. No! I thought you fell off, Mike. I thought you just <laughs> sprang along and I just missed. Me. Like I did. Oh, 
I have a hand, but I can't get up, so I die. Goodbye, world. Um. Okay. This way. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, we're good. Punk. Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drag me down. Help. <laughs> I'm glad you made it safely. I didn't. I fell. <laughs> Every. Everybody just died. No. All right. So Matt, how much? How often do you work dairy? Um, never. You never work dairy now. No, dude. I don't know. I, I think do I just have that. so many problems? I worked dairy yesterday. I mean, I might get to work it a little bit tomorrow, depending. Um. So in dairy, we got these new items in, okay? We that did not work out. Um so I purchased these new items before I left today. And well I think that's where you went wrong. Well, I mean they're new, so they can't have expired already. I mean I wish I expired already and I'm not new, but that's beside the point. Alright, go on. Um, I think they're called colliders. What? Yeah, they are a, uh, they're a yogurt, or, well, no, a pudding, a pudding that comes with candy crumbles in the top of it. That's like a yo crunch, but a pudding. Yeah. I, uh, I bought the Kit Kat ones and the Reese's ones. And I really am looking forward to the end of the stream so I can try them. Is that your post-stream congratulatory thing? I mean, I would say I was would, uh, would celebrate a successful stream, but... Uh, there's no success <laughs> here. <laughs> Only Zool. Do you have that many problems going to the bathroom? No, not at all. Shut up. <laughs> well, this is scary. Okay. Well, I'm on top of it now. That's what she said. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I... Oh, okay, we're cool, we're cool, we're cool. I need to watch this. Whoa! Oh, no, 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 no! I did it! Oh, this is not gonna be fun. I'm waiting. Hey, Mike. Uh... Hey, hold on, we need this. We need this footage. What <laughs> you really Matt. need something under that much pressure. <laughs> I'm gonna ace it, just so you know. Are you? Yeah. Hell yeah. Go. Look at him go. Good job. Oh, I didn't even fall off. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm just yellowing this shit. I do not care. <laughs> oh. Hey, Matt. Yeah? Don't look behind you. I, you're you're on a ball. You're headed straight for me. I, I saw it. <laughs> Jump, jump, jump! Oh, um, I'm... What is this thing? Oh, I'm in a toilet. That's... Alright, well, goodbye, world. <laughs> oh, I have to do this... Oh, that's not too bad. You know what? This looks way more fun down here. I'm gonna go this way. Boy, what? I <laughs> 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 I just watched Matt like fly across the bottom of the or fly fly down the screen. I just pulled a Zelda. It's fine. Right? <laughs> it's like the water temple all over again. Right. Oh. Ah, oh, I thought I was gonna be able to grab it. It didn't work. I. 
<laughs> I am the best. Like no one ever was. To catch bam, bam, bam. Shit. That's 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 not um no. I'm just gonna take this rock with me. We will we will rock you. Oh, I've lost the rock. Alright, so this is gonna be interesting. You have to throw it through one of those? Um, I have an idea. Put all the I rocks too will grab here. a rock. Put as many That's... rocks as we can on here. You think I they're gonna even... stay? I can't even walk straight. Okay, there we go. I, I think. Hold on. I'm gonna hold on to a rock and then hold on to the side of this thing because I think all the rocks are gonna go flying. It it's for science. It's fine. But, uh, just one more. There you go. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> All right, you're the wrong one. <laughs> no, look, I'm okay. Um, I almost just brought it back. Oh no, I'm hanging. I'm hanging off the side of this thing now. Oh no, no, no. Alright, Matt. Do you want to grab one, or do you want... I'm just gonna... grab the side of this thing and... Oop, I don't have it. it... Uh, hang on. Wait, let me... do I have the thing? Yeah, it's time to work. I think. Oh god, I'm actually not holding on. <laughs> I have one arm on. That's good enough, I guess. Punk! <gasps> Shit! What do you mean? We're here. It's fine. I almost just fell off the ledge. But no, that's not fine. I can't get it up in there. <laughs> you having problems getting it up? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. I never have it. Never mind. Okay, hold on. I'm sure some of the vendors can attest to that. Vendors? That's a joke referring to what you told me. Oh, <laughs> about a certain. <laughs> she wouldn't know. I'm not. Or so you hope. Yeah, more's the pity. <laughs> what? Uh, it was supposed to be a joke, not a joke. Some me saying that Danny's a cool guy, but it, <laughs> I think, it did not come out the way I intended. No, it didn't. Yeah, that's over here. Um. Okay, so there's just this green little ramp. Oh, run. Okay, I'll jump off. For science! Look I am. Ah, uh, because that was Did it. We... Finish the level. Okay. Wait, Matt finished the level? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I did. <laughs> Holy crap! How did you do that? Right? I, I, I walked off stuff. the ledge. <laughs> I got launched over the, like, over the castle wall, and then there was just this little, uh, like, pagoda thing. With a green sign. Symbolizing just walk off the, the little ramp and you're done. So I'm going to upright that. That was a cool level. That was fun. <coughs> upright. Right. Let's Bless you. This one. To, Thank to you. Remember that was. It was the same. Bless you. Thank you.
Oh, never mind. I take it back. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Cheerio. Don't you bless her? I'm the only You're one whose priest. computer is bad enough that I can't have Streamlabs and the game open. <laughs> um, you could open Streamlabs on your phone. That's... No. <laughs> that would be something else I have to download. Oh yeah, your phone wouldn't be able to handle Streamlabs, would it? I mean, it would probably be okay. It's only a 6S. Oh, that didn't work out the way I planned. How are we in... What is... what's... I'm confused. I don't know what's going on either. Nothing's happening, it's just an eternal loading screen for me. You're here to me. You're just standing there looking at the ground. Try leaving and coming back. Creating a twerk. Look it. You're not twerking. No, I'm loading. I You're can't obviously see. not doing a good job of it. I never claimed to be doing a good job. I blame Streamlabs. I'm closing it. Did, did it stop working when you closed Streamlabs? No, it's... And I've... No. But What's I assume working? my computer can't handle Streamlabs and a game. So I'm going to close Human Fall Flat and just load it back up again. There you go. I guess I also have Streamlabs open because just push I mean, the computer until it breaks. No, don't close stream. Close Streamlabs. Yeah, it's open. Push it to the limit. Ah. Yeah, you push it. Push, push, push it. <laughs> Mike, why were we both singing that at basically the same time? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Matthew Levin it, well, is now playing Human Fall Flat. Mike, we've been friends for a while, right? Yes. Do you actually know how to pronounce my last name, don't you? I mean, do you really want me to pronounce your last name right right now? I mean... You can we can say that my last name is Rice. It means I'm never wrong. I hate you. Have I ever told yeah, you back at you, buddy. We're like the perfect friends. I wouldn't necessarily go that far. <laughs> I hit a checkpoint because okay. we hit, because we hate each other is what I'm saying here. I mean, if you think so, that's cool, I guess. I hate all my friends. Oh, I just I hate guess. everybody. What'd you say, Sam? But not people in the chat. I said that's people not very nice. Cool. <laughs> Do I look nice? Has, has I Sam the answer is you? no. No, yeah, I've never she has not. You, so I wouldn't know. Oh, there's another person you here. Count yourself lucky. Twerk around them in a circle. It's the anti-summon <clears throat> circle. Oh, they look like they got massacred. Oh my gosh. Who I are you people? Massacred by the twerk. Mike, they're right next to you. They're pushing a button. That's not me. Do no, that's, I'm ground. Princess Skydiver. Mike is not on the elevator with us. Yeah, he is. Well, there's some 
person in. Uh, uh, there's, there's two, two people. people. Than... Oh, ew, ew, ew. Oh, Mike's up top. <laughs> I've been I'm up just going to take this one with me. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, bitch. Let go of the wall. Why are there <laughs> three other people in here? No, there's just two. There's no, one. there's a fr there's a skull man guy. Skull outfit. Get out of our room, you freak. <laughs> you freak. Dang oh, me. he just took the rope. What does this button do? I'm about to see. It doesn't do anything, I don't Launch think. You. I kept on pressing it to try to get it to do something, and it just didn't. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I just fell completely. Goodbye, world. Whee! Uh... I just fell twice. I just fell through. <laughs> I, I, I'm in a loop. <laughs> I keep seeing you fall. <laughs> Catch this on the stream before it stops. Where is it? <laughs> Oh god! Are you seeing this, Mike? Still looping. Oh my <laughs> gosh! Mike, get <laughs> off the swing and watch me loop. <laughs> Shit. I could go AFK right now and it would be totally fine. <laughs> Oh, he join me. Sam, join me. Join <laughs> us. Come loop with us. <laughs> Geronimo! I'm... <laughs> I'm, um... Ah! I'm broken. Somebody save me. Oops. I tried to... Wait, what am I grabbing onto? Guy, I, I'm grabbing onto the sky. <laughs> <laughs> what? Look at me, I'm up here. <laughs> You'll see me as you fall. <laughs> you are your <laughs> I am God. Fear me and worship me. Oh my gosh. This is hilarious. Fear me. There is no... Um! Mike, do you see me? Hold on. <laughs> You just to... fell right past me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can grab you. I'm trying to get grab Sam. Now I'm gonna try to. Ah! <laughs> Did you guys grab each other? Got oh my god! Back. back, Sam. Get Mike. Mike, Hold start on. falling. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Let me. Um... <laughs> Interesting. My hand is outstretched Damn, it's in the, the wrong, wrong direction. Right. <laughs> if we get this, we have to stop. <laughs> like, we have reached full pinnacle perfection if we can get this. I w I'd call it something, but I wouldn't call it perfection. Oh, I almost had him. It's okay, just... We'll get him, if we'll get him soon. Mike, you bounced off of us and lived. <laughs> That's not okay. I, I get keeping so close. Okay. Gotcha. Yes. <laughs> Looks like we hopped on a Traxxas and rode off into the sunset. <laughs> Mike's stomach, it looked like our avatars are kissing. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we do now? We're just kind of hanging out. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Are you stuck? Or are you grabbing onto, like, the sky? <laughs> oh, I was. And now I'm separated. Oh, no, I was grabbing onto the sky. Oh, whoa. Well, I'm looping again. I think I just judo kicked Mike. <laughs> <laughs> You did. <laughs> 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 now I'm just cartwheeling through the air. <laughs> Are you guys still grabbing onto each other? No, I'm trying to grab onto the ledge so that I can survive and. <laughs> No! <laughs> he 
grabbed me! He grabbed me! You couldn't have done oh that if you were trying, Matt. How the hell? And brings the rope back up. Okay, right. I'm back. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> are you wearing... Hey, what What are those hats? There's another person here. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce him to this level. Oh, he found it already. He's looping. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. We can ignore him. Oh, he got it. Sam? Yeah? I missed. Um, remember our anime? Oh, never mind. It's not the same. Um, I have an idea, though. Did you push the button and make me fall into the loop again? I did not. This other guy did. No! The don't! No! Did. No! No! He's grabbing me! Scream Stranger Danger, and you should be okay. He's trying to kill me with the rope. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Wait, did you get me, Sam? <laughs> I'm talking to you. Did <laughs> you get me down there? <laughs> Oh, somebody just messaged. Why? Get out of here. <clears throat> this is high quality entertainment right here. I'm oh, just it, saying. It friggin' is, man. Like, laughter is the best medicine? No, eternally looping through the sky with your friends is the best medicine. <laughs> the best. Laughter right, is so the cure? To the antidote? Well, I mean... Oh, I was trying to grab you, Mike, and I missed. I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. Oh, great. Well, I'm looping again. Oh, gosh. Okay. That's violent, whatever you're doing. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> uh, it's, it's sort of indescribable. <laughs> it looks to me like he's flopping around like a magic carp. A, I mean, it's about as... Fish. It's not... It's not the same anymore. <laughs> It's okay. like you were, like, trying to violently twerk off of the <laughs> elevator. I get bored, what can I say? I mean, yeah. Oh god, here I go again. Oh no. <gasps> While you guys were this busy uh, looping, I was busy trying to get us to the next... I was trying to get back up from the loop that had previously destroyed me because somebody hit the damn button. Well, that person is gone now, so... Well, that's good. Oh, they, I made it! They did it to you, so I did it to them, and then they just left. Nobody can say that I don't stand up for my friends. I'm not saying anything to that. I mean, I'll, I'll, dude, I'll also be the one to be tormenting my friends, but I'll stand up for them when somebody's attacking them. Thanks for defending my honor, bud. I, mean, uh. yeah. I don't think it's your honor that needs defending. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I know. I'm a weak little man. It's okay. 
Sam, you just threw me off the crate. Are you off if I let go of it? You threw me off of it. You're coming with me now. Oh, I meant you, not the crate. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, if you will, Matt is, I, I don't know what color his eyes are, probably like bluish, um, he's got brown hair, probably the same amount of facial hair as I usually do. What are we, why are we describing me to... I guess the chat. No, I'm describing you to Sam because she's never seen you. Oh. The kicker is he's sh he's shorter than me and weighs about forty pounds less than I do. Slightly shorter than me. No, thanks for the boost, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> You're like on me. <laughs> oh, I fell. <laughs> I grabbed your foot <laughs> by accident. I think that's an right. accurate description of you. More hair on his head. Most of the time he's wearing glasses as well. Oh, I, I'm, I can wear them all the time now. I think that was only a like a dairy thing. Or like constantly going in and out of the cooler. Yeah, I can... It's so nice being actually being able to actually wear my glasses at work. Like, right? Uh, uh, I cannot wait until I go to the eye doctor and get me some new some glasses. Optics. I no, probably, I probably need to go to the eye doctor pretty soon. Okay. <clears throat> Neat. Whoa. Hey, Sam, guess what? What? There's a wire up, up here. There's a wire? <gasps> hey, Sam. We're going to need to let Matt do something. Okay. I'm going to check out what's in these little huts. You can get over there from here. found the fire. Hey, Matt. Um, Yo. Where are you? Uh, I'm standing on the crate at the bottom. About to start climbing. Jump hopefully. off. In a second. I, I did. It got me back here again. Oh. But I'll do it again. Uh, oh, I'm somewhere else now. Hello. All right, Matt, I need you to um, put the red wire into the red socket. On the wall over there? On that little battery right next to the wall outlet thing. This thingy. Okay. Um, yeah, give me just a sec to grab the ground. Somebody here. I just want to grab them and take them off the edge immediately. Moldy fireflies. <clears throat> Got it. But you go on over there. Oh, I missed. <laughs> God. All right, missed again. Hold, please. I think I didn't come back after I dragged him <laughs> off the edge. I'm sure this is just going to explode and send me flying, but it's okay. It's all for the stream. Oh, God, Mike, you should have... Because you told me to come over and plug in a wire, and you're just chuckling evilly. <laughs> I didn't do it. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not Maybe I have to push this button either. first. I'll push the button. Is there a button? Punched a wall. 
Please hold. <laughs> What's in here? Nothing. Push Sam, push the button. <laughs> push the button. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Oh, I'm disappointed. I plug that one in. Hello, box, you want to come with me? Let's go. Let's go this way. <clears throat> that kind of just made my night a little bit not as nice. Mike, I, we both have the box. It's it's fine. <laughs> I figured out what the button does. Button do. It responds the, uh... Well, oh, okay, so... Turned Army boom. is What's now happening? following. Hey, thanks, Turned Army. Right on, Turned Army. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> oh. Hold on. Oh, no. I... I'm frozen. Me too. Uh-oh. Boom stream labs. Are you frozen? I'm uh I'm frozen. I just unfroze. Do you wanna build a gingerbread man? Do you want to give it hand drawn hair? Alright, I'm coming back. I'm exiting to the main menu real quick because I had some issues. Eee. And do that with a wife. I mean, you might want to. I do. Why else do you think I'm asking? I genuinely Mike, like my life. Mike, drag me off the edge, please. Okay. I don't actually think that's going to fix anything, but I can hope. Maybe. <clears throat> oh, God. It fixed nothing. It's not even a damn thing. I cannot fix you. I can't even fix myself. But you said your life was fine. Let's do that thing again where it won't connect to your server. I'm just frozen. I too will main menu. I am going to figure out what's going on here. You probably just have to start a new one like last time that happened to me and you. Oh, we're not even halfway done with this level, dude. Okay. I'm going to skip. Uh, try joining now. And it still says connecting to server. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get this a little bit, and then if it works, cool. But if not, uh, I need to... Probably start making my way over to bed. Like a little. Rub. Yeah, it's just doing the connecting the server thing. <clears throat> All right. With that, I'm going to close and reopen human. Oh jeez, that just hardcore glitched my screen. <laughs> what happened? 
Uh, I will take a picture of it and show you. Oh, dear. Dude, yeah, my computer did not like that. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it's, it's this, but I just sent you. Oh, connection to the server was lost. Okay, Online. well... Host. Oh, oh, I took a live picture? Oopsie. Um, anyway. Hmm. I just joined It the has... Cool. Um, anyway, it has been very cool. enjoyable, as always, with some pretty sweet looping. Um, but I think it is time oh, for gosh. me to go to bed. What? Your picture. Yeah. Nice. And just imagine that, but slowly fading out to white. Well. Hold on, is... I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go grab a cookie. Okay. Matt, have a good evening. Yeah, you too. Um, um, let me know about enjoy the rest of Let me know about Friday, sir. Yeah, I mean, I don't really think I'm doing much of anything, but... Right on, man. With that, I'm going to go take a pee, <laughs> and I will be back. Enjoy your night, man. <laughs> uh, you too. Enjoy your increased tensions, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs>